Welcome, Hello? Mr. Prosecutor. Welcome, sir. Um, Levent managed to save Yigit with a rather risky move, but Amir is still very upset. I don't know if he'll be willing to continue working with us. We have to find a way to keep Amir on our side no matter what. We almost managed to reach the top man by following the lead he brought us. You need to reshape your clumsy team, Commissioner. They were sloppy enough to be spotted by the enemy's team when we were on the brink of getting the intel. Actually, our team wasn't to blame for what happened, Mr. Prosecutor. One brother took away what the other brother gave us. It was Yigit who spotted our team. He's a highly astute guy. He smelled us like a bloodhound. Everything came down like a house of cards. He called us out and almost got himself killed in the process. He didn't only ruin the operation, he also made Amir suspicious. Maybe we could find a way to use what happened to Yigit in our favor. Yigit must be filled with rage right now. Perhaps we can use that anger to convince him to cooperate with us to take down the main boss. If Amir and Yigit agree to work with us, then we can take the whole gang down in no time. I'll talk to Amir and try to convince him, but I think that it'll be best to wait until tomorrow. Even if we find a way to convince Amir, it'll still be tricky to convince Yigit. We should get to work looking for his weak spot. Once we put that on the table, he's going to want to join our team. So you have your assignment. Let's get moving. If Amir can convince his brother to be a witness and testify, I'll do everything within my power to protect them both. I don't want any. <sighs> At least drink some orange juice, okay? Get some vitamins. Brother, I'll be back in a minute, okay? Did I not tell you to never call me again? Uh, Amir, I, I get it. You have a right to be upset, um, but there's something really important we need to discuss. Uh, Amir, I, I need to talk to you. Come on, can we? No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk, you hear me? If you're ever going to suggest we work together again, then you can no. just go and... Amir, <clears throat> This is something a little different. It's something else. Listen, please come by and hear me out. All right, I'll, I'll come by sometime. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Please sit down. Uh, how's Yiga doing? Not good. <clears throat> but he'll recover. I hope he gets well soon. We've all been through a lot. And what have you been through? My big brother was on the brink of death. You haven't been through anything. You're upset, Amir, but don't forget that Levin solved the problem. Your brother made it out alive because of the plan he came up with. Yigit got into this mess to begin with because of the plan. Didn't he? Look, I don't want to continue anymore. Amir, listen to me. If, if we don't get your brother out, then worse things are going to happen to him, and you know it, hmm? After what happened, maybe now he'll understand that his way of life can't end well. Look, Amir, have a word with your brother. Try and convince him to be a secret agent for us, all right? Plus, Mr. Prosecutor has made a guarantee himself. He promises that everything will be done to get Yigit out of the country safely. He can build a new life with his family, huh? You have no idea what my brother's like. Not Yigit. He would rather die than be a rat. That's just who he is. If you can't convince Yigit to work with us, then you should keep on helping us out. You've seen the gang we're up against. Things aren't going to get any better from here. Honestly, I just don't trust you. And I don't work with people I don't trust. But in the end, we were the ones who saved him. Don't forget that. Yeah, you did save him. But at what cost did you save him? I'm sure there's probably a dead body lying around somewhere, isn't there? Go on. You're right. Another scumbag has been wiped from this planet. Are you that concerned? He was nothing more than a hitman for the Mafia. I don't get it. It doesn't matter if he was a hitman for the Mafia or some innocent bystander, because last time I checked, 
there's no law advocating punishment via bullet to the head. So yes, I'm concerned about it. What laws are you talking about, huh? That's enough, that's enough. Hold on, uncle. Listen to me. Those bastards drove your father to commit suicide. They pushed your brother to the edge of the cliff. Yet you're sitting here talking to me about the law? Do you think any of those men care about following any laws, huh? Well, I went through hell to find a way to save your brother for you. And now you want to sit there and lecture me about getting a low-life mafia hitman killed in his place. Well, screw you and your stupid law. Listen, Levant, all you care about is revenge. But I care about the law. Do you understand what I'm trying to get at here? So from here on out, I'm gone, guys. Wait, wait Amir. Why did you do that? What's your problem, son? Didn't it occur to you that it would push Amir away from us? I don't do anything at all, all right, uncle? I was simply trying to open up the eyes of our young idealist lawmen, and that's all, okay? He was just about to join us, and somehow you managed to blow it, all right? 